presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use an iPhone or Android phone as an NDI camera in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where, of course, I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Before we get started, if you like this and you are really excited about the possibility of using your smartphone as a camera, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. One of the great things that I love about ProPresenter 7 is just how flexible it is in allowing you to add multiple video sources and great things like that. So I thought that we would talk all about how to add a smartphone or tablet as a video source using the NDI protocol, which Pro7 now fully supports, both in Mac and on Windows. And this trick works with both iPhone and Android phones, as long as they're fairly recent models and support the software. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter and what I can do is I can uh, go ahead into ProPresenter Preferences and then Inputs and once I'm in here, I actually have this. It's not connected right now. I'll show it to you here in just a second when I get it fired up. So here I am. You can see that you're looking at me through my phone, which you can see back here. I'm holding it up. This is uh, an iPhone XS, so not the latest and greatest, but fairly recent, a couple of years old, and uh, it works perfectly fine for this. So let me show, show you the little app that you need to get in order to do this. So let's head over to Chrome. Oops, skipped right past it. And we'll set that down for now. Uh, first thing, this is the website for the application. This is from New Tech, so it's a legitimate company. This isn't a fly-by-night operation. They've been in business for years and years. In fact, the first video I ever edited was on a New Tech product called the um, Video Toaster. So that was way back like 20 years ago so they're it's something that's safe to put on to your camera and here you can see the ui uh, that is there and we have a version that's available for google play and a version that is available for iphone so you'll need to download um, whichever one is appropriate to you. Notice they're not free. There was a time where they were offering it for free, so keep an eye out on that if this is something you want to do sometime in the future, but not necessarily right now because it could be that they'll have a sale or whatever. So that is uh, those two, but for 20 bucks to do something um, wireless, that's pretty cool. Now keep in mind, though, that over Wi-Fi, I'd recommend maybe one of these. If you need multiple to go through your network, and it could be that on Sunday morning with everyone there that it can't even handle the one. So let me show you, and you, you saw this already, there is an adapter. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's probably a USB-C adapter that would work on Android, but for uh, iPhone, we have this guy. This is from Belkin, another reputable company, and it uh, costs $86, something like that. I'll leave a link, uh, an affiliate link to my Amazon below, and then you can order that. Notice the good thing about this one is it has both a place for Ethernet and a place for Lightning, so you can keep your phone charged while you do this. 
not the best that you would have two cables, but you could uh, put them together and everything and have that working perfectly fine. So that is what I would recommend to do that. And from there on, you can add it just like a regular video source here in ProPresenter. And uh, if we go down here, so I've already added that. I can go down here and add input number four NDI iPhone. And I can um, position my hand just right so I don't obscure the lens. And I can go to that. Let's see. I don't think I had that showing in this one. But there. Let me clear that out. So there. You can see how I've got two cameras going. One is uh, wired SDI, and this one that I'm holding in my hand is NDI. And that's how I do that in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So just head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. And then you can sign up right there, get a login, and use ProPresenter, uh, use that course to learn all the basics of ProPresenter 7. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.